So, All grand right. finals! Hooray! Yes. So, is there's a stock map for this, right? Oh, that's right. It's the um, it's that controversial map, isn't it? Yeah, with the uh, strange texture. Interesting. So, what was the issue? Can you explain that to me? I, w I wasn't really clear. Oh, on... it was just kind of noisy and a bit dark in some spots, so it can be hard, hard to, to see, see some certain units. types of units. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I played a little bit. I had a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, it wasn't too bad with the scorchers for me, but uh, I, I guess it probably depends on what kind of display you have to. Yeah, oh, and also probably your options. Much. I mean, I, it, might, well, I, it might cause compression problems. I'm a bit concerned about that, but hopefully it won't oh, be too bad. That's a good point. But then I also play with uh, unit outlines and like X-ray shader yeah, and all so of that on. Yeah, which I, I really think everyone should do. It's it's such a big help, especially in the like larger engagements, trying to determine which units are yours and which aren't. It's it's so much faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Forgotten Crossing, I like. Uh, I really like the layout of the map. It's a fun map to play on. Um, but, you know, aesthetic issues aside, especially that sort of three bridge arrangement up north it's really interesting yes yeah that that i've never really seen it used much i find most of the time when i was playing on it most people would just go to the south and center yeah south and the center north is almost yeah, never used there right but i guess my point was that you can claim it quickly and because it's so bottlenecked it's easy to defend but yeah there's not not very much uh metal value there if i recall okay so we have Google Frog and Drone in the Grand Finals. Google Frog needs to uh, win two matches in a row, right? Yes, they need to win two sets in a row. Not just two matches. Sure. Well, it's uh, certainly an uphill battle. You know, Google Frog. <laughs> As much as I want to root for the underdog, I, I'm not sure that he's been performing on Drone's level this tournament. Yeah. Not that I'm in any position to judge, but that's just the feeling I get from watching. Well, hmm, that's hard to say. Uh, I guess it all remains to be seen. I want to see uh, how these players play this map. It's like, it's a small map, the vehicles do really well on it, but it's also amenable to bots because it has a few hills and that sort of thing, too. It seems like you could pick um, really a number of factories on, you on this could, map. but I would recommend vehicles just for the flexibility of movement because vehicles can go up in the hillier areas, sort of. Oh, really? I think I there's a path that. that they have, but it's a bit hard to get to. Uh, I mean, if you go, if you want to go up there, go for bots, or at least switch over to bots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mobility is a big deal, and especially controlling the center, of course. On such a small map, it's uh, critical. Because mm -hmm. what, 10 by 8? No, 12 by 10. I guess the other part I like about it is how, even if you don't control the center, there's still avenues you can take, but then again, they're also easily defended. So there's like a lot of contention, you know? You can't yeah, really say. There's, if you look, there's actually a ramp that leads up, so vehicles can get up there. Not that there's really much to see up there, but, you know, they can. Right. Yes. And I would imagine to be pretty slow, that ramp looks fairly steep. And we are seeing a vehicle mirror, in fact. Who? boy. Yeah. Didn't see that well, coming. so I guess it is a good factory. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, most of the area is flat, and the raised area that isn't flat is not economically valuable. There's mm -hmm. tactical value, but there's no economic value. Yeah. I had forgotten just how flat the it's central wind, area is. It's uh, almost almost perfectly flat. Yeah, I think it is pretty much perfectly flat, isn't it? I mean, there's the lower area that's raised slightly, but otherwise it's flat. So then I'll ask you this. Why not uh, Why not tanks? I don't know. Maybe because it's just not it's, really in vogue. <laughs> it seems bottlenecky enough that you could hold, um, hold the bottlenecks with uh, banishers against... Against Scorchers, definitely. Yeah, I just don't think people are thinking about that because we we're talking about tournament last match. Like, Google Frog is probably not going to want to go for it because they want something reliable. And Drone, I don't really know if they're that much of a fan of tanks. Yeah. If this was Lori, then yeah, I would totally expect <laughs> tanks. Definitely. But it's not, so it's a little bit right. wonky. Yeah, I just wanted to run that crazy idea by you. Well, I think the thing with tanks is that it would just be 
it would be too unreliable for the player's playstyles. Like, they don't know it probably as well as they'd like to, or at least as well as they'd need to. Yeah. I feel like it's such a strong counter against light vehicle, though, and especially on a map like this where uh, clearly it seems people are inclined somewhat to pick vehicles. Uh, you have Reapers to take out the Slashers, you have Banishers, of course, for the Scorchers. Um, uh, Panthers, too, deal with Scorchers really well, if I recall. But uh, I guess it's neither yeah, here nor there. Panthers do deal with Scorchers, but so do Levelers, so it's, I don't know. I wouldn't but mind it, seeing tanks. But yeah, I'd like to see some tanks, too, honestly. But we're seeing slashes right now. Actually, it looks like a pretty, pretty much the exact same comp composition from both sides. Yeah, but a different playstyle from Titan Duel. Like Google Frog is being much more forward with this match than they were yes, with Titan is. Duel. Yes, he is. Playing it much better. I would agree. Nice, able to take out the Scorcher, even though it tried to dive into the slashes there. Beautiful. Yeah, in fact, it's actually Drone this time who has the slashes too far back, and Google has an advantage here, taking the central territory. Drone has basically an identical army, so since Google Frog is there first, um, it's going to be hard to you know kick him off the hill. Well, the only difference is that Google Frog slashes are damaged, and one of them's damage is more forward. Ah, uh, yep. So that needs to be pulled uh -oh. back. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, getting some shots off on. Oh, yeah, the damage gosh, one is so getting hit pretty hard. Yeah, there we go. So it's and some repair going on too. Ah, uh, there we go. So this is definitely Drone's engagement. Google Frog's trying to get his commander out here as quickly as possible to pick up the reclaim, at least, it seems. I don't think that's good enough, though. I mean, that two-on-one slashers, that's... He is morphing into level one. Wins. And he's using a support commander this time, LPB. Light particle beam, nice. Yeah. And some slashers here to stake out the reclaim. Oh, he might be able to hold this. Looks like Google Frog's just going for it and basically bluffing Drone to an extent. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh... If I'm drone, I'd probably like, do... I think I'd build uh, Scorchers right now and either try to dive the Slashers or run by, like, down through the south or even through the north. Uh, yeah. Because you can see, Google Frog has definitely concentrated his units and his commander out here in the center. Uh, definitely trying to take center control. Well, at this point, Google Frog's bluff has actually turned into a distinct advantage. Yeah. Like, Google Frog's actually taking something of a local advantage. Although, the lack of repair... Mm, yeah, that's yeah, the biggest true. thing, is there is the reclaim as long as Google Frog doesn't lose their commander. That's the biggest yes. thing. If he can keep the commander alive and just prevent drone from getting the reclaim, I think that's a win. And also uh, build stuff. Yeah, and, and bonus if he can pick off these slashes with the scorches like that. Nice. Not bad at all. I mean that their own slash is dead, they need to retreat, but still they got the reclaim, that's good. I think it definitely made just, cost. Why are they not building stuff? They're accessing a bit. Like mm, where are the yep. workers? Where are the caretakers? Oh there's one, one of the workers. Okay. Heading back to the factory now. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he definitely needs to be spending the metal. There we go. Stinger in the center to kind of help fortify it. Perfect. Will that be up in time? I mean, it looks like Drone's trying to avoid it. Though, nice, nice snipe on that Scorcher. Good job, Google Frog. And then the south, we have another Scorcher. It's not quite so sniped. And here's a Drone trying to give Google, Google Frog a slip here. And does Fighting not manage to do that. Ooh. Double kill. Mutually assured destruction. But at this point, we have, yeah, in the south, though, Drone did give the slip to the south. So mm -hmm. one of their many attacks did get through. Beautiful. And there's no defenses there either, so this is very open. Oh. Sheesh. Poke at everything until you find a hole. Look at this. There's a couple of metal extractors here, at least, that you can pick off. And although Google Frog doing the same thing over to the north, but cannot find an open spot. Mm. Drone being quite defensive. I mean, their main base, not so much, but further north than that, yeah. And that dart's going straight into the Lotus and straight to death. Google Frog idling his own commander now. I wonder what he's looking at. It probably is uh, workers. <sighs> there we go. No, they're looking Good at the south. The they're going to attack to the south. Ah, yeah. Nice. There's Scorcher coming back there. Hmm. Although it looks like they're going to just intercept one of their own Scorchers and then not worry about it. A little surprised they aren't actually doing a bit more raiding, though. Like, going around the back, trying to pick off what they can. Yeah, yeah exactly. Double I was checking the north, double checking the south. Since he had occupied all of these slashers up front, I was expecting him, yeah, to head south with those Scorchers. Uh, try and do some raiding there. Too late now, there's a riot unit down to the, the uh, southern approach, but... Yeah, being a oh, bit more... Oh, that's true. Pa Levelers on the hill. Being a bit more passive with these raiders than I really expected them to be. And also with the expansion. Mm -hmm. Like, there's yeah. quite a lot of metal there, which Google Frog could probably take relatively cheaply. Yeah. Or at least in a way that's worth doing for its cost. And down yeah, goes... Oh, knock out the leveler. 
so really helping okay, out. Now the level is down. Perfect. Oh, here comes a uh, constructor pickoff for Google Frog there. Uh, oh no, he's gonna run right what? by it, not paying enough attention. Oh, there we go. Looping back. Uh, it just needs to send one, really. There we go. And that's exactly what they're doing. <coughs> they know what they're doing. Actually, they send two. There's another one flanking from behind. Ah, just in case the Lotus gets up, I guess. No need any more though. They can just keep going. They can deal with the rest of this stuff, and then. Same time, uh, Google Frog's getting raided out himself. He's lost two metal extractors now to that scorcher on the southern side. And nothing defending the Ravager. That's it. That's right. And yes, uh, not. Not what that Ravager wants to do. Fell off point that Google has been stalling on energy every for this entire game. And, and really, been distracted. Uh, well, he did that for quite a bit of the match with Steel Blue, didn't he? At least during the first game. No, he. Uh, well, a little bit later, but early uh, yeah, on, it was right. a perfect timing. Really e -stall. Yeah, that's right. E-stall. They just got enough metal until they would have accessed and then stopped getting metal. But then later on in the game when he was Oh, yeah, yeah, after being raided and so forth. Yes. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, like you said earlier, it happens to all of us. Nice. I like these Ravagers to deal with the uh, Slashers. I think if they can... Um, they can tank it out, then they're good. Exactly. Yeah, and there then are they'll no be flashers. It's not be left mess. over to uh, charge through whatever port they might encounter as well. Ooh, and a nice ball of scorches coming down the western side, going to dig in right behind Drone's factory, it looks like. That's what needs doing. Not Don't get that Lotus in the north. Just go straight for the factory. Oh, diving the comm. That's uh, not going to oh, no. Light wow. particle beam comm. Oof. Nice they gone for the factory would have worked, but not for yeah, the commander. Yeah, exactly. I think just staying on the outside and going for the factory was the right call. That's unfortunate. Uh, that could have been uh, such a promising raid. Oh, an Impaler coming up now. Well, the Impaler's been up for a while that Drone has. Oh, <laughs> and I guess that's how the uh, Stinger went down then. Yeah, that's a lot of things, I guess. I'm, g I'm glad an Impaler's been built. Yeah. Like, nice Wolverines are good, but Impalers are very useful in many situations. It's good to see a situation such as that come up. Scorchers causing some problems with the Ravagers here in the center. Definitely pushing him away. The Wolfrog is being very tenacious about the central position, even though he's uh, really in some danger, in my estimation, having all of his defenses just removed from out from under him. Yeah, and having no levelers to deal with the Scorchers that inevitably come in. It seems so risky, but he's just he's hanging in there and he's reclaiming. Uh, and getting all the metal spots. Now finally capped the metal spots. But uh, yeah, once again, Wait he needs forever. some energy. Yeah, not in the front lines either. Because that's <laughs> just going to get hit by the Impaler. Right. Although we do see solar plants in the back of the base, so that's probably fine. Goat Frog's got that sorted. Or will pretty soon. Hmm. Feels like a bit of a stalemate. It doesn't really seem like it has to be, though. There's so many avenues. Like, the north and south are both completely unclaimed. Really. I don't know. It seems like it's kind of like Avalanche, where people only focus on that one center lane. And mm, forget the yeah. rest of the map exists. Yeah. Because it means yeah. if you ignore the center lane, then you get hit. Mm, and you don't want to do that. Yeah. So you got to have enough to flank with while still defending. And you're not necessarily mm. sure what your opponent has that you have to defend against. That's true. Yeah, you definitely have to meet your opponent with uh, equal or greater force in the center there. I guess that's why it's such a huge advantage to rush it, because then you can put down the defenses, uh, which are supposed to be, what, twice as cost effective as units? Two and a half times, yeah. Two and a half times, so I mean, that's that's definitely the plan. Rush the center, pork, uh, really, I mean, as much as you can justify doing, right? Mm -hmm. Stingers were the right call, a few defenders, that sort of thing. Then maybe using that to uh, stage raids down the uh, north and south, southern sides, since you control the center, we'll have uh, more mobility that way. Yeah, I don't know. Google Frog, they went for a couple defenders, but I think they were focusing primarily on the slashers as, in, as they normally do. Mm -hmm. And that might have bit them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Why are these scorchers not moving in? There's Oof. tanking going on. Okay, whatever. Drone pulled out. Well, actually, Drone pushed forward in a way that didn't necessarily benefit them. Oh. Oh boy, now it didn't benefit them uh -oh. at all. And Google Frog's commander now going to go down to a. D oh, is it? Oh! Oh, oh that, that was so barely. close. Okay, well, uh, that certainly changes things. Uh, Google yeah, Frog was so critically dependent on his build power there in the center. He doesn't even really done. control the center anymore. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, there we go. The GG, and uh, that's the first game for Drone. Yeah, just needs one more. Drone takes the next game. It's over. That's right. 
Oh, this is, uh, wow. It's all on the line here, so Google Frog. Pretty much. Okay, so... If Google Frog doesn't go for a Hail Mary Cheese thing next game... They didn't go for one last time when we talked about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see it, but I feel like I uh, still try and play straight. It's going to be his, his map choice now, so... Well, his map suggestions. Right. But yeah, that was so close. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that... If it was for a bit more rating in the factory, it's just such a close thing. I felt like Google Frog was ahead that entire game, except for, well, I guess towards the end, as drones started to outstrip him while Google Frog was still e-stalling. I guess that was... A big yeah, part the e-stalling, I think, is probably the biggest thing that made Google Frog... That's I mean, what Google whittled Frog, them down. Google Frog was staying even, because Drone is actually one of those players that's actually kind of like Steel Blue, where they do they do fine if they have an advantage. Mm -hmm. Like, Google Frog was actually behind that entire time, and was still they were still hanging on just fine. They were still even with a handicap. Yeah. yeah. So it's... At least Drone versus Golda. Like, Golda can do more with less compared to Drone. Drone's less efficient, usually. Hmm. So that's something that... I mean, with Google Frog, it's not as pronounced. Oh yeah, and Drone is actually practicing the map, apparently. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing, is that it's... Like, Google Frog is, I guess, a little bit more careful, but even then, not that much. So both players are kind of suiciding, but I guess Google Frog was slightly more efficient. Because they've been able to hang on with less. Yeah. But yeah, it was one of those Very things true. where if they had the energy, they would have won. Yes. They would have had the stuff they needed to win. Yeah. It was definitely a favorable position. But, uh, once again, that's all it takes to lose a game at this level. Mm -hmm. We get some solar collectors and uh, it could be GG. Yeah, or you idle something. Sure. Any number of things. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's on to... Oh, what is it going to be on to? What is game two? I forgot to even say what game one was. Game one was on Forgotten Crossing, which I forgot to type in because I'm getting tired. Mm. Despite having the habit of doing that now, it's still... I forgot to do that. What's game two? At least I wrote that it was Grand Finals. <laughs> What's game two? Come on, people. Yeah, Baron. I want to see it. Okay, I Cooper Hill or Baron. And ah. apparently Cooper is being chosen, so we're back to Cooper Hill, back to the very beginning Bird. of the tournament. Haha, <laughs> it's all come full circle. Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome <laughs> to the May 2015 1v1 tournament. We're starting out with the game two of the grand finals on Cooper Hill. Wait. <laughs> all right. Predictions for factory choices. I mean, I, I, we could... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Gunship. Yeah, that's, this is definitely a chance of that. I think Drone. it's pretty likely we'll see, like, maybe a shield mirror. Yeah, um, probably. Drone, I'm not really known to too often go for crazy things when they're in the lead. Yeah. I've not. I've known Google Frog to basically play solid all the time. I, I agree. I not mentioned Google Frog's creative, but tends to go for the solid play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Curious. I I agree with uh, what you said earlier about Amphids being a, d a defensible choice um, when you need a high power uh, constructor for the reclaim. And then that also helps if your opponent does end up plopping shield bots because Bowie is so strong against the late game shield ball compositions. True. So Amp versus shield in this map would, well, it would match the popularity that it currently has. Yeah, it's true. So drone up one on the western side of the map with, I mean, this tiny map. Oh, clicky bots. Have you seen uh, drone's commander name, by the way? No. Should I be banning them? <laughs> no. Just uh, please let me win tournament for once. Oh. So shield bot, clicky bot. That's what we have here. Yep. And Google Frog going for an early scout. Actually, early dirt. How many dirt packs is Google Frog building? Oh, two. Okay. Wasn't sure if they're gonna just go for an Orphelius dirtbag rush. Oh boy! Like, nope. I'm gonna go. Like, that's your Hail Mary play is the dirtbag rush. You know that <laughs> doesn't work. That hasn't worked since like one two four zero or something. And that was because dirtbags were blocking vehicles only. It, uh, it works in the team room. I'll tell you that much. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work in one v one anymore. 
No, certainly doesn't. Although having the bandits is nice. I mean, it does mean that Google Frog is going to have to micro less. Yeah, that's a good point. I uh, should have a much easier time in the Raider game, and that's going to free him up to macro. And uh, this is definitely a macro oriented map. Yeah, so. Oh, well, Drone has a load of stuff, so Drone's not playing too unsafe. Google Frog has, has a defender up. Once again, two defenders, actually. So both players are playing it fairly safe. They realize that this is a knife fight. And they need to be. They, it's a knife fight in a phone booth, and they have to know what they're doing. <laughs> that's such a perfect way to put it. Yeah, it came from Akron. That was a couple maps that people said were like having knife fights in phone booths. And I just thought, that's a great phrase. <laughs> it's so, it's exactly what some of these maps are like. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, you go on a Saturday night and you find someone and it's like, hey, see me in the phone booth. <laughs> and then you come out later and you wake up in the emergency room and just half your blood gone and an IV bag with blood transfusion. And yeah. you wonder, what the hell just happened? That's how I just spent my last weekend. I know, right? It's great. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw you last weekend. Yeah, it was, we must have been at the same phone booth, I guess. Wow. Wow. So who won? Small world. Yeah. All right. Well, that was pretty absurd. Anyway. Um, some early rogues <laughs> coming out from Google Frog. This is an interesting interesting call. I don't know. It's so vulnerable to raiders this early on, you know? It, well, yeah, with the lack of defenses on the south side. Or, well, for now. I meant the rogues the, Oh, yeah, the rogues, too. Oh, yeah. That's, is that a? I don't, that's a calling on the warrior, but the warrior is the right. Like Google Frog is making a good read. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. look at drones build. They're, they're oh, he is building a warrior. Yeah, He's it. this is wow. a good read. <laughs> well uh, done, Google this Frog. Is... Oh, yeah, that warrior is a complete waste now. I love what? it when people do that. How did he know? That's insane. Or like, it's because it doesn't seem to me like a generally good idea to rush skirmishers on top of this hill so early in the game with raiders on the field. So it's like, how did he know that there would be a riot? Because it's here? a good idea to rush riots up the hill, because if your opponent throws up raiders, yes. you throw up <laughs> riots, and riots are also, for warriors, they're light assaults. That so if your opponent so builds with defenses, up. you can tank it. Perfect. And then Google Frog just knew that enough that they just called it. Well, plus it's going to complement his uh, battle commander. I wonder what kind of weapon he has on Flame this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he has a riot commander and some skirmishers to back it up, so... Yeah. That's perfect. It's a nice push. Wow, so it... So not only was it a good read, it also just plays in perfectly to his uh, commander strategy, mm -hmm. which of course he's going to be using heavily here. Yeah, now it's moved in. Nope, I'm going to burn you. You're dead. Wow. Although at this point now we're dealing with Rockos because, well, that only goes so far. Sure. But still, we have the bandits Google coming Frog. back in. This is a good response. It's exactly Quickly what switches to do. back. Exactly. So nice to see. Yeah, so that's the I, thing. That's that's riots out and see, raiders think, out. Google Frog would like to be kicking out more constructors, but Drone's applying enough pressure here that he really can't. And Drone has three constructors out, out on the field, just two of them actually uh, working right now. But if he puts this third one to work, uh, he could definitely get a huge advantage heading into the mid game. Mm hmm. Well, there's two reclaiming. I'm not sure where the third one is. Looks like the third one's up at the top. Am I missing something? How many are there? Uh, there's there's two on the south reclaiming, and then there's one. Oh yeah, there's one just above the base. That's that yes. isn't. That's doing nothing. That's right. But yeah, that's. Boy, that's this position kind of sure feels familiar to me. It does, except yeah. mirrored. Yeah. Maybe turn the map upside down. Mm. Make more sense. <laughs> it's uh. It's always demoralizing too, you know, when your opponent pours just right on your doorstep. Although, in this case, I mean, it's on the side. It looks like yeah, Google Frog looks like not, they're actually trying to flank this. See, the difference here is that Google Frog actually has the capacity to break out of it. Yeah, <laughs> they have the units to do so. Right, and also, they're just not terrible, like myself. <laughs> well, okay, you, you can admonish yourself if you like. I mean, that, was, that wasn't that was bad. It was just use the sniper. That was just more uh, a matter of unit knowledge. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I'll agree with that. Yeah, I love these rogues here. It's going to help. In fact, Google's going to be able to break out using the rogues. They're so great at anti-pork. I feel like this. I feel like they're almost more of an artillery unit than a skirmisher because they have between, a hard time. Yeah, yeah, they have a hard time sometimes hitting um, you know, even slower moving units. But they do so great against pork. I love them for that. Yeah, recklesses, always, recklesses and rogues are basically skirm artillery. A little bit yeah. wonky. Yeah, 
That makes sense. But that kind of makes sense because, I mean, when you think about it, Clokybot's got a lot of flex. Warrior is a flex assault. Rocco is a flex, uh, a flex riot, but it's, I guess, a flex anti raider. If you get enough of them. Yeah. Like, there's. When you're dealing with stuff that's a bit more specialized, like what the shield bot typically has. Mm -hmm. like you have the rogues, you have. Actually, not necessarily just shield bot, but shield bot has the rogue. And I mean, its riot is just slow, basically. Slow and a bit of damage. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't assault. They like, can't do that. So yeah. Kind of depends on how you look at it. Spectators don't have much faith in Google Frog here. I think he's in a good position to break out if he can establish a good thug lot ball um, and a couple of yeah. rogues to support it. Unfortunately, he's lost most of his rogues here. And both of uh, us. Oh, no, yeah, both of us thugs. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, the thug lot ball didn't get, con it didn't get consolidated early enough. And it looks like exactly. if you look at the entire map, Drone has most of the back section. There's like one metal extractor they don't have in the back. They have all the good ones. Yeah. Except for the two yeah, this in the feels north and south. This feels done to me. Google Frog hasn't gotten any of his peripheral metal extractors. He's gotten barely any of the reclaim outside of his space. The like I said, is double, and Google Frog is once again accessing. Oh, why? Because of metal, or they're stalling. E. They're stalling. <laughs> they're stalling it's energy. It's rough. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this is a game point match and tournament, isn't it? Yeah. This I I'd say there's one shot that Google Frog has, either going around or going through, and. At this point, Drone is trying to preempt it with a bunch of glaives going around the back. If those yeah. succeed, that's not even going to get to the point where Google Frog has bags. a question. Google Frog, however, is setting up a bit of an Orphelia strat, getting a lot of dirt bags to cover for everything else. Okay. And to tank all the defender shots. Uh -huh. And his glaives aren't doing too much damage, so that's okay. Huh. Interesting. I wonder. Gosh, it would be so great if this worked out. I want to see him break out of here using dirt bags. This would be such an inspiring move because they are pretty tanky. Uh, and they're oh, basically yeah. a melee unit, so it's, so they're kind of, and they can jump, so they're kind of like really terrible cheap jacks. Exactly. The, they're. What would you even call a cheap jack? Yeah, I don't. It's like that's kind of the lowest face card suit, or face card, not suit, <laughs> but lowest face card type. Doesn't even go I think a, t a ten, a, a three. <laughs> I'll call it a three. I just, I hope it works. I just, uh, I've never seen it executed well before. Yeah. I don't know why Google Frog is putting. Putting everything onto this strategy. Well, you got 25 threes coming forward, and then the thug, and <laughs> that's it. Thug and two outlaws. All right. Yeah, the jump. Bait all the shots. So beautiful. Tank all the shots. Look now where's the thug? Is it swarms? I don't know. Well, the outlaw needs to come in. The outlaw is the key component yes, here. Yes, absolutely. I think he. I think he might have jumped a bit prematurely. I I agree, uh, but I think that it'll work out anyway. I don't think so. Oh no, one of the outlaws died. No, no, it's, it's that's going to be so much this harder. Is, uh, yeah, that was a And I think jump. this commander's overcommitted, so I think this commander's about to uh, see his end as well. Right about now. Yes. And uh, that, I have a feeling probably... That is Drone, <laughs> come so on! Drone, geez, geez. Oh. That's just rude. But yes, yeah, Drone wins drone the tournament. there. Yes, yes. Drone got what their commander wanted. They finally won the tournament. Congratulations, well, Drone. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Drone. Good, good job. Okay, so ah. Drone gets first, Google Frog gets second, and Steel Blue gets third. And Shadow Fury wins the pool. Right. Yes! <laughs> I didn't put any money on that. It's, uh, luckily, I didn't either. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that was a good one. I really enjoyed those uh, Steel Blue Ghoul Frog oh, matches. I, know, I, I, didn't, thought... I lost the pool. I predicted Felthos in third. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we both lost the pool. Steel Blue. That was that was the real Cinderella story, wasn't it? That was. And it was so close to being at least a 2-1 against Google Frog. And making it to third place it, with a pool like this, I mean, there were some, some great players here. Right? There were, I although Steel Blue, I mean, that's why I was kind of... I only really had respect during that first game with Google Frog because... Uh, I mean, look at their pool. It's one of I the didn't easier see a pools. Schedule. Yeah, oh, okay. look at the schedule. It's one of the easiest. Like, old Ghost Stalker was a buy, and oh. Exploit has well, always been. Like, Exploit sure. is. Exploit's a player I'm always a little bit careful about because I'm never quite sure what they're going to do. I know. Yeah, me either. I always but, get surprised by him. But then, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Felthos sure. is. Felthos is strong, but got cheese. And then Google Frog is really strong, and then Steel Blue went toe to toe. Hey, uh, that win against Veltas 
that's not really something you can sneeze at, you know. I, that's true. You're right. He, they uh, recovered. Good... It was a failed mm -hmm. cheese they recovered and succeeded with. Yes. So I think that was that was a respectable win. And of that's, course, that's a point. Fair point. As I've said probably a hundred times, his impressive performance in that first game against Google Frog. Um, I felt like I felt like this very last finals, the drone Google Frog sort of fell flat. Um, that often happens in these tournaments. I think the last yeah. the Golda drone finals from I think the first Those the were, January tournament. That you was, couldn't ask for better finals. No, you right? couldn't. But would, the last two, like this one and the one between, I think it was also drone Google Frog in the last tournament. Both huh. of them were kind of, yeah, they weren't quite the same level. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's understandable. Think of how many games you've played by the time you get to yeah, the end of it. That's always the hardest part about tournaments is that yeah. it's just, and I mean, speaking of someone who was just in one, well, two actually, it's like, yeah. that's the hardest part is that you just have so many things going on. You have to, f you have to fight against, well, usually in the tournaments that I'm that was in what they to organize it they'd have essentially two brackets you had your pools which was essentially a best of 16 or 30 or th 16 or 32 person bracket that the winner and loser got out of the loser into the losers bracket and the winner to the winners bracket mm. of the final top 16 so huh. it was like this for just top 16 and there was another one they had to play prior and usually on the same day wow and that was, yeah, so that's really long. That's arduous. So I know exactly how that feels. And I didn't even get that far, but I still know how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really easy to underestimate, you know, because it's pretty easy to sit down, play, you know, one, two, maybe three games in a row. But when you sit down, you've been playing, uh, let's see, the tournament started five hours ago, right? So some of these players yeah. have been playing almost five hours straight with sometimes, you know, just five minute breaks in between matches sometimes. So mm. it's... And that's like if you look at Google Frog. Google Frog has played about, four, six, yeah, they've played eleven games oh, man. in the span of five hours. That's just uh, that's <laughs> that's not something a lot of people could even do, you know. So just yeah, to hold on RTS against drones. That's uh, that's stamina. All right, mm -hmm. well, I guess that wraps it up, huh? Yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Thanks, Sightoth, for helping out earlier, and thank you, Kane, for helping out now. Always a pleasure. And thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone. Hope you enjoyed Have a good that. night, everyone. And Goodbye. Oh, yeah, and stuff will be on YouTube, as usual, probably tomorrow sometime. Don't expect it today. <laughs> and otherwise, yeah, that's... Yeah. Everything's going to be relatively as normal. So, right on. Good night. Later, guys.